Good morning. As you can tell from the B-roll from yesterday or some of the driving footage, the south side is the side I hadn't really seen before of Chicago and that's definitely a little bit of a rougher area. But uh, you know, I never felt unsafe and uh, the town actually I passed through was called Gary and it's like infamous for having a load, a load, a load of uh, abandoned buildings. Anyway, this morning we're gonna do some downtown Chicago stuff, Champ and I. Uh, gonna go see some stuff. I really want to eat some Chicago food again because this is like the best place to eat. I swear to God, I haven't had food quite like in this city before. If I haven't mentioned before, I really am a big fan of Chicago. Uh, the Cubs just won the World Series here. I'm gonna pick up some uh, paraphernalia while I'm here for my friend Jess because she's a huge baseball fan. I mean, she's more of a Jays fan, but like all baseball, so I'll get her something. And uh, yeah, I just, I just really like the food here, man. I just really like the food. People are pretty friendly too, though. Soft drinks all day? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hey, calm down. I got you a chili dog. I know you like chili dogs. There you go. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I'm trying to get a Chicago dog when you come to Chicago. This place is pretty good. Because they have a lot of the different kinds of stereotypical Chicago food in one one place. It's kind of cool. It wasn't very gentle. Feeding champ hot dogs is kind of like cannibalism. He doesn't seem to mind though. Another classic of American food that you don't really get in Canada: chili cheese dog. This is actually my first ever chili cheese dog. I don't know how you're supposed to eat this, it's kind of a mess. That is sinful. Take the try and jam as many calories as they can into you all in one go. My love has left me, but I won't show it. time of this filming, the Chicago Cubs have just won the World Series. It's a pretty monumentous event because it's been a really long time since I last won it. And uh, as a result, this, this little anomaly has popped up. The wall outside of the stadium is covered in the names of people who have lived and died without seeing them win. It's a little heart-wrenching, but really cool. Bucks for the flag? For the pennant? Yeah. Yeah. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you. All right, champ, let's go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Pick Jess up the uh, championship flag. Hopefully, she likes that. Big, big baseball fan. She's got me really into it this summer.
back in the van. There's a lot of street parking, and uh, as long as you're not right, right downtown Chicago, I found actually most American cities are a bit easier to park. Uh, sometimes you have to pay a meter, but it's usually not too bad. Um, it depends on the city, though. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to make some dinner tonight. I'm making uh, the same kind of like pasta, so I'm not going to film it again. Uh, and then uh, I'm supposed to meet up with some folks. I've been having a really hard time, like, getting everybody, the crew that I met in Chicago here last time. Um, I don't know. That's kind of the reality of, of like, these videos. It, it looks really good when you see all these people coming in and coming out, and you're like, oh, all these new friends and new friends. And, like, yeah, some of them are, for sure. But, like, a lot of the people that I meet on the trip, either just because of, like, different lifestyles or because of constantly traveling or whatever, a lot of the people I meet, I unfortunately only ever get to meet them once. I'll never see them again. And that's, like, heart-wrenching to say, but... It's the reality of like traveling all the time and and it's the reality of just like encountering so many people like especially i know this mostly because of my work like i'm always meeting new people because of my work so i know what it's like to like meet 150 new people a week and that's that can be exhausting and that can also be like a little disheartening when you know that you're not going to talk to like the vast majority of them ever again anyway I'm gonna make some dinner, have a beer, and chill out. Might even take a little bit of a nap. But later tonight, I'm going out to Handlebar again. I'm gonna get $1 PBRs. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna splurge. And dinner served. Like that, ladies and gentlemen, with a little movie magic, you stare at it once and it's done. fried cauliflower. Apparently it's fantastic, so we're gonna try it out. <laughs> 